Today we go wild. Hog wild. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Today we're throwing darts and eating pork because this episode is sponsored by the National Pork Board and it couldn't be better timing since it's the season of feasting. It's also a great time to give back to your community and pay a little kindness forward. Exactly, and every year the National Pork Board does a little something called Hams Across America in which the pork industry donates pork to people in need and last year, they donated over 2.2 million servings of pork. And speaking of hams across America, there are so many unique regional pork dishes across the good old US of A that there's even some we ain't never heard of. And you know I'm a ham man, so <laughs> this needs to be rectified. It's time for Where, Where in America, America do these crazy pork dishes come from? So we're gonna try a unique pork-centric dish that was created and commonly enjoyed in a specific US state, and then we'll guess what state by throwing a dart at the US map. And Hamlet, the cartographer, will measure how far our dart is from the actual answer. Aha, uh -huh. to ham or not to ham? That is not the question, because I know the answer, it's ham. Okay, now listen. Link, you've won two of these in a row. The tables have completely turned. How? And I regret, last time, I actually had the cheat dart. Yeah. And I was so far ahead in the last round that I gave it to you, and you actually used it against me, and won. Well, I get the cheat dart this time, and it's called the Wham Bam, thank you ham. It's just a wad of uh, honey glazed ham I get to throw at the map. Uh, and I'm not giving it to you no matter what no is matter happening what. in that last round. Okay, and the person with the lowest score at the end wins a very special celebrity pork cork board. Ooh, hey. let's ham it up. <laughs> it appears that we have a pita pocket of crazy here. There's a, There's a wiener in there. What? So is this a pork wiener? I guess it is. <laughs> I and hope then, it is. Oh, that's fried taters. Oh yeah, this is like a fair dish because it's got the onions and peppers. Mm. It's a fair dish. Are you trying to speak like Shakespeare? No. Now I'm gonna go first because that gives you the advantage and I won the last two times. I mean. Yeah. Mmm. Um, pita. Is, yeah, pita pot. P pita's the real question here. Um, I, man. You got that cluster of New York, Pennsylvania, and New Jersey. They call that the tri-state area, I think. I think from a producerial standpoint, something's there. there. Something's happening up there. Maybe nothing's happening up there. I'm just going up there. I, I don't know why, but I when I think PETA, I think New England. Oh, hey, oh I hit, hit Raleigh. State. You hit Raleigh. Whoops, a little low. You ever had a PETA in Raleigh? I don't even care that I was that low because I didn't even believe in my guess. <laughs> I don't have an informed guess. I mean, I will say it's tough, man. that I have enjoyed more pitas in California than any other state. That's because it's like a, like I've been living in California since I became a pita man. A lot of Greek restaurants. Right, so I'm thinking Greek. Oh, I should have thought Greek. But Greek people live all across the great land. <laughs> I think there's a big Greek contingent in Wyoming. <laughs> I haven't heard that. I feel like it's either Florida or California. Darn it, man, make a choice. Uh, I could jump way ahead if it is California, but if I'm wrong, I'm way behind. Yeah, you better hedge your bets. Uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna go, I'm gonna hedge my bets around Florida, but not right at Florida. Oh or, gosh, okay. down in, there in, in the, the Gulf. Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> we're, we're low today, the darts are heavy today. If this isn't a pita, then we're really off track. <laughs> well, <laughs> you just ate an Italian hot dog, which is made up of two deep fried all pork hot dogs There's on two pizza. Pizza bread, not pita bread, pizza bread. Oh, pizza. come on. Topped pizza with bread. onions, peppers, and fried potatoes. It was created in 1932 and ever since has been highly popular in the state of New Jersey. Oh, God. Boom, New England. Oh, I'm listening to y'all. <laughs> I just couldn't wow. name it, y'all. Oh man, you you know what? You heard man. the pizza. You heard the pizza Again. calling, even though we thought it was pita. Yeah, I had had no clue. All right, Link, you had five, and Rhett, you had seventeen. Oh. Mm. <laughs> omelet of some it's sort. It's like a. I know. I call this a frittata. Yep. You know what? That might be what it is. Now, here's the thing. I mean, it's it's bacon, it's chives, it's eggs. Hold on, but what? then there's like a. What is that, Link? This is. Is this a is this a pork meatball? No. <laughs> That's an oyster. <laughs> yes. That's an oyster. It's an unfortunate oyster. That is not pork, but 
So the pork is the bacon part. There's, there's, let's let's focus on that. Um, yeah, if you oh kind gosh. of avoid the oysters, we got the the egg with the bacon and the green onion. Oh, that oyster looked so tasty. It looked like a like a chicken nugget that just called for me. Oh well, gosh, it oh. feels like. Well, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm right. Not gonna say anything. Well, you know, oysters. I I think we're they're big in Montana. Is that what you were gonna say? Well, well. I was thinking coastal state, and as you can see from our map, Montana is a coastal state. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, shoot, man, I, I'm i still thinking New England, because, well, this could be a Floridian thing. Yeah, there's also water hitting Texas. Water hits Texas pretty I much think, constantly. And I think oysters are crawling up on like the, mm. the coast, like Marina Del Rey. Um, hmm. I'm feeling Florida for this, just because Cause it's down there and that, that pig's kissing the, the islands. He's listening to Miami. I'm listening to my inner voice. Florida. Oh gosh. You keep going to North Carolina late. I'm, I'm losing momentum here in my, my accuracy. I didn't want to throw too low like I did last time. But your reasoning was very sound last time. But I didn't, I mean, you didn't reason at all. Oyster. You, uh, you didn't reason, you just said that it, the Florida was calling to you, but that when New Jersey called, you answered. Fried oysters, man. They got some fried oysters in Florida. I feel like the fried part of this and the just abundance of bacon is a very Texas thing. Going for Texas. I should be able to actually hit Texas, right? Go it's the it. biggest Big. state. Yeah, okay. You did hit it. Ah, I almost missed now, it. Now, uh, Alaska's the biggest state, though. Well, it's the biggest state you can see. Well, actually, there's Alaska right there, but it's not to scale. It's also not an option. Oh, okay, gosh. Okay, guys. That was a hangtown fry, an omelet that includes a healthy amount of fried bacon and fried oysters. It was made famous during the gold rush of the 1850s and is from California. California. Uh, oh, you're, man, you've really made up some ground. I made up some ground. I think you've taken the lead. All right, Link, you had 33, and Rhett, you had 20. Oh, so you've barely pulled ahead. Have you ever seen this in, in the state that we're in? Nope, I don't get out much. What has happened on this plate? It's a mountain of happiness. This is- That's, That looks like beef on top. It's drizzled in- Or is that ground pork? Mustard, there's-, there's I, like I know that this is ham, and noodle, these are hot dogs. Noodle salad, there's some potatoes back here. Then there's just a big thing of butter. You just put that right on top. Oh man, this get, is good. Get a little bit of that butter when you go back in for some of the meat. I don't now, know why I'm just holding the bread. You get mm. to go first because mm. you've just taken the lead. This feels like leftovers. I mean, it's good. I love it. But you're throwing this is like the plate. you had an incredible time last night, and this is what you wake up to in the morning. Like this is like a classic family reunion spread all put together on one thing. I would call this a monstrosity. There's only a few places <laughs> in America that you can do this without shame. <laughs> right. And I believe that Texas is one of them. Everything's bigger in Texas and <laughs> that is a big plate. Okay, so I'm going with my instincts, Texas. Oh, oh gosh, gosh, you missed Texas that time. As big as it is, you couldn't hit it twice. <laughs> wow. Um, you know what? I'm actually feeling like this is a place where there's lots of space, even more space than Texas. I'm talking like Big Sky Montana. Whoa! Wow, the lack of preparation for that really <laughs> yeah. played into your accuracy. Stevie? Okay, this is what's lovingly known as a garbage plate. Garbage plate, monstrosity. A dish made of two meat sides, yours had Italian sausage and ham, with two non-meat sides, yours has french fries and macaroni salad. All of that is topped with mustard, onions, and a meat sauce that is served with Italian bread. This dish originated in a restaurant called Nick Tahoe's when a bunch of college kids asked for a dish with all of the garbage in it. And it's still enjoyed to this day in Rochester, New York. Oh, <laughs> what, what? I really thought the I was The reasoning on behind the, you can't, you can't come up with this. Oh, we're, we're at a loss. Oh gosh. This is a crap shoot. Okay, Rhett, you had 20 and Link, you had 23. Oh, oh wow. so close. Mm. To you. So we've got fried slices of, I guess, what the original form is right here. A big loaf of, Pork loaf, I guess? It kind of looks like, you know when you get that like country style sausage back in North Carolina that comes in the block? Uh-huh. It looks like that. This is like breakfast sausage. But it's got like 
Maybe a... Uh, it's like bread in it. That's jelly. Yeah. Well, you dipped it in jelly. Yeah, I'm saying that's jelly. This is... Yeah, but I know what jelly is. I don't know what this is. <laughs> it's like you're trying to figure out the wrong thing, brother. No, no, no. Yeah, I want no. I know this is pork, right? But <laughs> I want to know oh. what kind of pork is it? It's a loaf of something, right? But I want to know. I'm going off the sauces because the sauces tell you a lot about it, where some some comes from. Now you're winning, so you got to throw first. You don't um, even know what that last sauce is, and I just tasted it, and I know, but I'm gonna keep it to myself. Oh, you think the sauce helps? No. It's 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 uh, pancake syrup. It's pancake syrup. Oh man. That's good. So this is just basically sausage. It's like a meatloaf made with sausage. This is a simple place. I mean, look, they're not trying to impress anybody. And when you cut this, it's in the shape of a square. Link, do you see a state up there that's in the shape of a square? Uh Wyoming, Wyoming? everybody! Fine, go for it. Oh, you're wrong, this is Tennessee. <laughs> All right, Tennessee. Wow. I know this is like a southern thing. Okay, this is called Scrapple. This a is Scrapple? loaf of pork scraps and trimmings combined with cornmeal, wheat flour, and spices. You might find Scrapple being enjoyed in several places across America, but it originated in and is from Pennsylvania. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dang, all right, I'm still close. But you, well, you're way close. I, I don't know why I said originated and is from, because that's basically the same thing, yeah. but Yeah, well, you know I like I mean. it when you're redundant. <laughs> I've heard of Scrapple, never had it. I didn't think I would like it, but I did. Yeah, it's very good. All right, Link, you had eight, and Rhett, you had 19. Oh, wow, you just came I'm back, Link. You took the lead going into the final round. <laughs> this is pork spaghetti. I see the stringy porkiness is on it? top, and that's making me very excited. It's almost just like pulled pork just on the top of spaghetti. Why have I never had this? Why in all my years of eating spaghetti? It's so sweet. Have I not said, well, let's put some stringy pork in there. Maybe it's because I've never been to a state where this happens. Okay, I go first. Because I've never seen this. Um, mm. But I'm supposed to go first, but I get the cheat. So do you want to go first? Nope. I'm not falling for that. Sherlock. Ugh, man. Get your ham out. So far, yeah, okay, I'm gonna throw this honey glazed ham and anywhere that honey goes, honey knows, <laughs> is my answer. So far, my reasoning has not been helpful at all, so I'm not even gonna take the time to do it. I'm just gonna throw it at Kansas because it's in the middle. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Folks, he almost brought the map down. Okay, most of my splatter is on the eastern seaboard. Oh my gosh, yeah. I can see that like, the, you've got, the most western splatter I think is here. We western splatter. Your western splatter. Is that the extent of my western splatter? It's right here. Okay, so, so I, don't, I don't go further west than Texas with my splatter. <clears throat> and I'm definitely thinking that this is like, I mean, Texas barbecue, they're gonna throw that stuff in everything. You ever splattered they're west of Texas? It. I'm about to. <laughs> so I'm gonna hedge my bets by going right against your splatter in Kansas. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Little high. Whoa. Little high. Stevie, tell us about this goodness. You just ate barbecue spaghetti, which is a whole bunch of pulled pork and vegetables cooked in barbecue sauce, served on top of spaghetti, enjoyed in Tennessee. Oh! No! I got splatter in Tennessee, everybody. All right, Link, you had 14, and Rhett, you had splatter in Tennessee. Splatter in Tennessee! <laughs> <laughs> I, I was breathing in, I breathed in some spaghetti. Are you okay? Hold your hands uh, up. Uh, I finally took back the crown. Special thanks to the National Pork Board for sponsoring this episode. And don't forget, this is the time for giving. So once you're done doing all your thinking, consider paying it forward to help those in your community who aren't as fortunate. Ooh. I'm gonna be enjoying my celebrity pork cork board. Yeah, whether that's donating food, everybody likes ham, the giving of your time, or committing purposeful acts of kindness to those who need it most, thank you for being your mythical best. Why is Abraham Lincoln on here? And thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. We're at the Apple Barn in Tennessee, and it's time to spin, spin the, the wheel, wheel of mythicality. Abraham Lincoln. Ah, yes. Click the top link to watch us try a bacon, peanut butter, and jelly bread loaf from Colorado and ham flavored snacks and give it a come on. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Our Back in Black Black Friday sale offers new takes on classic merch and up to 40% off items store wide. Get in on the deals at mythical.com.